A few weeks ago, I shared what I think is a really good learning resource. Um, it's a learning path for data science. Here it is, it's the curriculum guidelines for undergraduate programs in data science. It's a little bit old now, it was created in 2016. Um, but what I like about it is that it's impartial. It was the result of academics getting together in the US and deciding what uh, undergraduate data science degrees should contain. And it's a really good resource for anyone that wants to teach themselves uh, data science because it contains the important topics that you need to know. What I didn't share were any learning resources to run alongside this so that you can teach yourself these topics. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. So let me start by showing you this. You're going to need to learn some kind of programming language and I would suggest you learn Python. Uh, and this is a really good learning resource for Python, particularly if you want to learn it uh, for, you know, for using data. So this is Quanticon. There's links to all these resources in the description. All of these are free. OK, so this won't cost you anything. So work your way through this resource. This is a fabulous learning resource for Python and work your way through this. Of course, there are others, but it's in my, in my experience, it's better to find one that's good and just stick with it. Otherwise, you spend more time searching for resources than you do actually working through them. So I'm doing all that work for you. So stick with this. This is a really good learning resource for Python uh, applied to um, you know, learning Python for data. You're also going to need to know probability and statistics. Uh, so I'm going to share some resources for those uh, for you. This is an introduction to probability statistics and random processes. Uh, this is a nice free resource for learning those topics. Uh, I'm not going to go all through them. I mean, you can take a look and uh, go through them in your own time, but I definitely recommend this one. Uh, what else have we got? So this Think Stats second edition. This is a free book by Alan Downey. Now, Alan Downey uh, has a lot of free content that he produces, uh, and they're all on this Green Tea Press site. He has uh, a book on Python, which you might find useful. Uh, but I think the, the Quanticom resource might be better for just getting you up to speed more quickly, although the Alan Downey Python resource is very good. And there are other other books that he has, and you can see what's available on, on the site here. But Think Stats is a nice introduction to statistics using Python. So take a look at that. Uh, what else? Yeah, so then we've got this book. Um, this is from Michigan Publishing, and this is an introduction to probability for data science. So yeah, exactly what you need. And this is available for free as well. You can get the PDF as a free download here. OK, moving on. Um, to Python, the Python Data Science Handbook. Let me just turn this off because I keep getting emails. Aren't I always saying that the way to learn something is to do it? And that's why I want to introduce you to today's sponsor, Brilliant. Now, Brilliant is an interactive online STEM learning platform where you can learn, you know, all the stuff that you're interested in. So computer science and data science, that's programming and algorithms and data structures and statistics and probability but you learn it interactively. And I think that's what makes Brilliant unique. I've been using Brilliant for years, long before they reached out to me to sponsor the channel. So thank you for getting in touch, Brilliant. What I really like about Brilliant is the interactive problem solving because it really ensures that you understand the subject because you've been asked questions about it and you've had to apply that knowledge to different scenarios. Brilliant has a huge catalogue of courses and it's constantly expanding. So there's bound to be something there for you. It's particularly strong in data science and computer science. So go and take a look at those. To get started, go to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or just click on the link in the description. And the first 200 people to sign up will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Um, the Python Data Science Handbook by um, Jake Vanderplas has been around for a while. Uh, I don't know when it was last updated, but it covers uh, useful topics like Jupyter Notebooks, um, introduction to NumPy, and data manipulation with pandas, and visualization with matplotlib. Uh, so it's a really useful resource. So, and, you know, this is kind of the order that you need to go through them as well. So learn, learn Python first using Quanticon uh, and then start to get an understanding of statistics and probability. And whilst doing that, take a look at the Python Data Science Handbook by Jake Vanderplas. 
Okay, well, what else have we got here? Uh, now, so this is an introduction to st statistical learning. This is one of the best books on uh, on statistical learning that uh, that there is, and it's free. Now, the only slight caveat is that all of the applications uh, in the uh, in the exercises are in R and not in Python. But don't let that put you off. R is a pretty good language to learn as well if you want to do data science. And uh, you'll learn so much just from working through the book and, and not going through the exercises if you choose to do it that way. Uh, but if you want to learn R as well, then this is a really good introduction to that. Uh, so this is a real little gem. Uh, so you know, as you go through your learning journey, make sure you take a look at this. There's also a, a book um, called The Elements of Statistical Learning, uh, which goes into more detail. But this one is, is certainly one that uh, you should read. And then there are some YouTube channels that I want to share with you. So they cover mainly probability and statistics and linear algebra. So let's just have a look at what we've got here. So. This is the essence of linear algebra by um, three blue, one brown, and it's the uh, linear algebra uh, playlist, which I think you should go through because it gives you a nice insight into linear algebra. And another channel that is very good for insight is the Professor Greist math site. Uh, and definitely take a look at this because these videos have been so well put together, they're so well explained and the animations are, are, are very good. A lot of effort and love has gone into creating this resource uh, and it really will help you to understand the fundamental maths that you need to know very well indeed. So I definitely recommend that. Again, all of this, uh, all of these resources are in the description. Uh, and another resource which I think is very good, you know, because sometimes it's you want something explained in different ways for you to understand a concept. And that's um, Ritvik Math uh, is, a, is a really nice YouTube channel um, for explaining the maths of data science and machine learning. So take a look at that as well. And then also you're going to need some projects to work through. Uh, and the Titanic project on Kaggle is a really nice place to start. And I also found this, which um, I think you might like. It's uh, on the cleverprogrammer.com. And there are, uh, here there are over a hundred um, machine learning projects uh, that uh, you can take a look at. Now, I haven't been through all of these projects, so I can't say for sure that they're all high quality. I've had a quick look and they look pretty good. But by the time you know, you're getting through to this stage and you've worked through a, a few projects, you will have a good idea as to what makes a good project and what doesn't. So you'll be able to tell for yourself. Um, but this would be a, a, a good place to start. I hope that's useful. And keep in mind that uh, you, know, you need to refer back to the document that uh, I showed you to start with, the Curriculum Guidelines for Undergraduate Programs in Data Science, just to ensure that you're on the right trajectory.